Welcome to Toy Poloi. Parental guidance. This video contains scenes of Lego destruction. Hello and welcome to another video from Toy Ploy. Now I recently posted a picture onto my Facebook page of this poor old battered Bob Fett. He's obviously had a battle with the Sarlacc pit and lost one of his legs. He's also the guy that I showed you how to sort of roughly replace a hand on a while back. And I asked if anybody had a uh, Bob Fett spare leg so that I could at least sort of get him standing upright again. And very kindly Russ Simmons said that he had a Bob Fett without a head and that he would uh, send him to me. So in this box, should be a Boba Fett without a head. Now I did uh, swap some bits with Russ. I sent him some Toy Poloi stickers and a uh, fridge magnet and some of my collectible trading cards that I've got. So I swapped them for this figure. So let's open up the box and see what we've got and see if we can sort out poor old Boba Fett. I'll just open this up. Now, no idea what condition this fet is in, but uh, as you know, even if they're a bit battered, you can normally do reasonable things with Star Wars figures. So let's take a look inside. And inside we have, there we go, it is a Boba Fett with no head. And, oh, he's got both hands, that's unusual. But he does have the leg, which is the bit I needed. So I think from these two remains of a figure, I can make one half decent Boba Fett. So let's get him looking half decent again. Here are the two fets ready for surgery. This one is actually fairly beaten and worn, but it is only the leg that I want. And I'm thinking I might as well take this hand as well. You can actually see that this hand has suffered from the same problems that you often get with fets, and it's uh, splitting. It's almost just about ready to fall off. So I think I will actually take that hand off completely and swap it out with the one uh, that I sort of made out of an action man hand, if you remember in a few videos back. So I can actually just pull that one out because it's just held in with a pin. And I'll work out a new way of fixing that hand back on. So really all we're gonna do is swap out his leg. So let's get this FET apart. I've got a little uh, pot here to put screws in. And we're just gonna unscrew the screws on the back of this poor old battered one. them into the pot. Like so. I was uh, worried about taking this screw out just because the screw hole is in such an odd place. It just looks a little bit disturbing. Hopefully that screw is out and we can now take it apart the front of him should just come off sometimes these are a little bit sticky and require a screwdriver or something i think i might get a screwdriver just to pull this one apart a small flat headed screwdriver like this is all you need push this in Let's cut it. That's it. Now I can get the leg that I need and I'll do the same on the other figure and we can swap those two legs over. I've now got my other Boba Fett apart so we can take out the remains of his right leg and we'll just swap in this uh, new leg which still needs a bit of a clean but I'll clean it all once everything is back together. Swap that in. Now I am made the decision that uh, this arm here which is the one without the hand I'm going to keep that arm because the, this other one 
has a bit of a burn mark on the end of it. And that burn mark happens when these two bits of plastic sort of uh, interact over the years, uh, whereas this one doesn't. So I'm going to use this arm and I'm going to reattach this hand to it. At, uh, well, I might do that a bit later on in this video. So let's uh, get everything back together and I'll see if I can work out a way to uh, reattach that hand to uh, this old arm. But uh, in the meantime, we'll put uh, this Boba Fett back together. At least he's got two legs again. Now Boba Fett is back together with his uh, leg on, so he's already looking pretty good. Now I broke the hand off uh, the other one, as you saw, and this is the hand. And the little peg that sort of holds it into the hand should be like that. But obviously over the years, the uh, two types of plastic used in the, uh, the sort of different rubber used in the hand and the plastic of the arm uh, so seem to react together and it sort of melts. So that has come off. So we've now got to work a way of reattaching this hand onto the arm. And it's actually going to be a fairly simple job. What I've done already is drilled a hole into the hand here and I'm going to use a Lego axle pin. So this is a part axle, part pin and the pin part of this will fit, if I push that in, into the hole that I've uh, cut or drilled into the hand and you can see that holds it pretty nicely. So we're just going to attach the axle part into the armhole and again that's a fairly easy job to do. If I just remove that axle pin we can hold the pin into the arm and you can see it goes in quite a long way. I actually need to trim a slight amount of the end of that one off just because it's slightly too long. But that's all right. You can cut these either with plastic nippers or just a knife like this will cut that end off. Because what we want to do is obviously get this pin nice and flush. So I'm just going to see how deep that needs to go in. So about like that, that should work nicely. And then we've got to glue it in place. And you can use anything you want to glue it in place, a sort of two-part epoxy or something like that. I'm actually going to use some milliput just because I have some already here. And I should be able to roll that into a little tube and push that into the end of the arm. And milliput is quite good because it does go rock solid once it goes off. And I'm going to be able to push quite a large amount of this into the hole and then we'll squidge in the axle pin and just let that set for 24 hours and then we can reattach Boba Fett's hand and he will look as good as new. So, okay, that's pushing quite a lot into that hole. I want I want the sort of the whole area in there to fill up with milliput so it really grips onto uh, the Lego pin. So it just keeps squeezing it in until it sort of no more will go in. I'll say that's probably about it. So I'll now take the axle pin and push that into the hole. Like so, and I will just cut away the excess milliput and then we'll let that set. It's now a day later and the milliput has had time to set and it's gone off pretty firmly. So that uh, Lego peg is very well held in place. So we can take the hand that I've already uh, pre-drilled the hole into. We can just insert that onto the Lego peg. You can see that holds on nice and firmly. In fact, that's a pretty good fit. So you can rotate the hand around. Obviously, if you wanted to, you can still take the hand off. But that, that is a pretty reasonable uh, way of reattaching the hand there. That's uh, good enough to uh, put this figure back on display. When I started this video, it was really just meant to be a quick unboxing and swapping out the leg and it's turned into something more. This has now turned into a bit of a fixed video and shown you how to uh, reattach a broken off hand on a vintage Star Wars Boba Fett. So this guy is ready for some more restorations, but I've already shown you most of that. So I'll do that uh, on my own at a later date. And I now have the remains of this Boba Fett, which has a last few little bits that are left that can be used for other fixes. It's got one good arm. Uh, it's got a sort of reasonable arm there. This leg has actually been glued in place and we've got to, obviously a missing leg there. But at some point I will use bits of this in future restoration. So that's just going to go in a parts box here. So just want to say a big thank you to uh, Russ Simmons for sending in uh, this junker bit. So I was able to uh, fix this Boba Fett up and thanks for watching. Thanks for watching Toy Ploy. Subscribe for more great videos. You can also follow Toy Ploy on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram.